Andrews is a town in Cherokee County, North Carolina, with a population of around 1,600 people. It's located along US 74 and US 19, about 15 miles northeast of Murphy, North Carolina, at an elevation of 1,805 feet. The area was first inhabited by the Cherokee and by the time of the removal of the Cherokee on the Trail of Tears in 1838, the area along the Valley River that runs through Andrews was known as Comhiti, and my Cherokee is very crusty, but it means valley. With the arrival of settlers in the 1800s, the area was known as Jamesville after James Whitaker established a trading post in 1837. Sometime after that, the small community was called Valleytown. Valley Town's early growth has contributed to the Richmond and Danville Railroad that was completed in 1890, along with a depot. The area was now being called Andrews in honor of Colonel A.B. Andrews, a second vice president of the railroad. From its humble beginnings, Andrew grew from two homes and a store to being incorporated as a town in 1905, and by 1930, Andrews had a population of 1,748 people. Andrews had not seen a passenger train in 40 years. After the Great Smoky Mountain Railroad had leased 67 miles of track, from Dillsboro to Andrews from the state of North Carolina, the first excursion train rolled into Andrews on October the 15th, 1988. In 1999, the Great Smoky uh, Mountain Railroad was sold to American Heritage Railroad and the excursion to Andrews was stopped. But who knows what the future holds. After I arrived from Topton down to to a winding two-lane road, you reach the bottom and there is a long and wide valley with mountain peaks on both sides and a straight four-lane highway. Then you realize this is a beautiful area and Andrews is a beautiful small town with a bright future. <laughs>